In this video, we shall discuss the geometrical interpretation of linear programs in terms of polyhedra. This interpretation is extremely useful to have an intuitive understanding of both linear programs as well as algorithms to solve linear programs. To understand it, let's consider the simple example of a two-dimensional linear program. Let's consider this one. Minimize x plus y with x non-negative, x minus y at most 2, and x plus 3y at most 3. To understand this linear program, we can draw its set of feasible solutions. The inequality x squared or equals to 0 means that feasible solutions are on the right of the y-axis. The inequality x minus y at most 2 can be rewritten as y greater or equal to x minus 2, which means that feasible solutions are above the diagonal line that's two units below the main diagonal. Finally, the inequality x plus 3y at most 3 can be rewritten as y at most 1 minus x divided by 3, which means that feasible solutions are below the line that goes through 0, 1, and 3, 0. This leads us to conclude that all solutions are inside the triangle whose sides are delimited by the inequality boundaries. Finally, we can represent the objective function x plus y by drawing its level sets. Namely, we represent the different lines that correspond to equalities x plus y equals minus 3, x plus y equals minus 2, x plus y equals minus 1, and so on. You can see that there is a direction according to which x plus y decreases, and this direction is the bottom left direction. We say that the bottom left direction is the gradient descent of the objective function. More precisely, the gradient of the objective function is 1, 1, because these are the coefficients in front of x and y in the objective function. Since we have a minimization problem, the direction towards which we want to tend is actually the negative of the gradient, i.e. the direction minus 1, 1, which is equal to minus 1, minus 1. We can now easily see what the minimizer of the linear program is. It is the bottom left point of the set of feasible solutions, i.e. of the triangle. This minimizer is evidently the point 0, minus 2. Quite surprisingly, our geometric approach here to linear programming is actually very representative of all linear programs. More generally, when there are more inequality constraints, then the set of feasible solutions can have more sides, but it will still be a polygon, except when the inequality constraints are almost incompatible or completely incompatible, in which case we obtain degenerate polygons like a segment, a point, or the empty set. Now, of course, in general, linear programs are not restricted to two-dimensional decision variables. In the general higher dimensional case, instead of cutting the two-dimensional plane along a line, we cut an n-dimensional space along a so-called hyperplane, and instead of polygons, we have so-called polyhedra, which is plural for polyhedron. But the intuition is the same, it is a region of space whose boundaries are flat. We'll dig more into the geometry of polyhedra in a future video.